Asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. So much to talk about from this week. We actually spent a better part of Tuesday feeling sorry for the Mercedes-Benz Club after word broke out that President Museveni's armored toilet is a mark. Now, you cannot tell me that this, uh, that this is a coincidence. At one of the dignitaries at President Ruto's inauguration shows up in a mobile toilet, and then boom, this happens. We have already made arrangements to make 1.4 million bags of fertilizer available at Kenya Shillings 3,500. I doubt that was a coincidence. Kuna relationship between the mobile toilet and the subsidy of fertilizer. Now, people actually had a field day with a poop mobile only to later learn that it's actually his mobile office. Toilet is just one of the features, uh, but then, Museveni is so attached to Uganda that he moves around with the office of the president. <laughs> now, uh, the Ugandan president was in Kenya for his fifth benchmarking trip, marking um, uh, his fifth benchmarking trip on how to transfer power. Unajua, for Ugandans, uh, transfer of power is a very foreign concept. And here's a fun fact. Even as people make fun of Museveni staying in power uh, for too long, Uganda got independence around the same time Kenya did. But still, Uganda has had more presidents than Kenya. Uganda has had nine presidents. Kenya signed you to call the fifth. As in, by the way, this is the uh, talking of inauguration. This is the official portrait of President William Ruto. Like, and it was taken by the legendary photographer. Uh, legendary photographer... And it's Emmanuel Jambo. So I'm Now, for those, um, for those who have uh, not seen it, the official portrait for the deputy president, Rigadi Gashagwa, is also out. Uh, and um, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I think it's point pointless to criticize Museveni uh, for overstaying in power. And on the other hand, you celebrate the queen for being on the throne for as long as President Museveni has been alive. Maybe the issue is the title president. Maybe we should call him King Yoweri. <laughs> now, and talking of monarchies, the passing of the Queen Elizabeth uh, II has opened uh, the world to very interesting traditions uh, that the British people, like this week, the royal beekeeper performed a long-standing British superstitious um, tradition of informing the Queen's bees of the Queen's passing. If you're familiar with the history of uh, the Great Britain, you understand how sad it may be that they have literally, they, <laughs> they, literally, they literally have bees as their only remaining colonies. And as a Kenyan, <laughs> as a Kenyan, I can't help but ask myself, what is it with the British Nanyuki? Anyway, uh, <laughs> the major event of this week uh, was the inauguration of President William Ruto. It was a totally different vibe from what we saw at the campaigns. Uh, for example, uh, during the campaign, Diamond came through, Aka performed Kwa Rally Azimio, and it was very clear which team he was supporting. Lakini kwa inauguration, diyo wa Kenya walijua, aliko dangote. Now, a, lo a, lot of hope, a lot of hope from the commitments uh, by the new president. See, one of the biggest complaints from the previous regime was Mambo Yakuomba. Now, one of the highlights of the incoming regime is how spiritual the first and the second ladies are. I went to the kitchen, took a bowl, put salt, and went to the borehole. And I went and decreed the words of Elisha. I went and said, this water will never be dirty again. As a Christian, I take this opportunity to thank my wife, Dorcas. Pastor Dokas for being a prayer warrior. In fact, you remember the choir everybody was complaining about Pale Bombers? Kumbe yon di ilikuwa praise and worship ya kukaribisha ma pastor. Now, one of the main moments uh, of the event definitely has to be the swearing-in session of Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. 
that I will always that I will always truly and diligently truly and diligently Truly and diligently, truly and diligently, serve the people, serve the people, and the Republic of Kenya, and the Republic of Kenya, in the office of Deputy President, in the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, of that, the Republic that I will diligently serve the people, discharge my duties and perform my functions in the state office. May I request that we take it again, please? To the best of my judgment. I'm sorry, let's take it again. Let's take it again. Mina ya Samarigathi ya mea mbaka ya 2027. My friend Butita Liza Matirigathi karibu wa jiapishe. Watu wengine waka Samarigathi should have been sworn in by the only person he listens to. But then, Here's an interesting point that caught my attention. The second lady, Mama Dorcas Rigathi, is a pastor. How comes uh, Rigathi alikuwa na struggle na neno? But then, another reason most Kenyans are hopeful, um, do, were hopeful during the inauguration was that there was a show of good faith in terms of the implementation of campaign promises. Most importantly, the promise of job creation. For example, President Uhuru lost his job and got another one at the same event. I have asked my elder brother, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has done commendable engagement with those regions, and he has graciously agreed to continue chairing those, in, uh, those uh, uh, discussions on behalf of the people of Kenya. Ah, basi, kazi zitapatikana. But then now, uh, to the topic of our show today, for such uh, an event to go smoothly, there's a special group of uh, people who always make sure that security is in check some uh, people call these men uh, call these gentlemen men in black now you've seen them and i'm very curious to know the kind of training they go to to be so confident confident ya mtu kukimbiza mpaka v8 I have so many questions and I know you do too. So, he in one of the episodes to Mr. Golkiasi putting together, but you have in fact we have to give a special shout out to uh, engineer Sami Onyango for his assistance in setting this up. Last I checked, engineer Sami Onyango is the only gun safety training officer instructor in Kenya. Tulimleta kwa show na alikuwa na very good vibes na ukiingia kwa mtandao yake kwanza utapata video zake akiwa in action. Well, Sami Onyango introduced us to Clevin and Kingsley who are close protection officers na wako kwa show kutuambia vile kuna endanga. Unujua wa Kenya wengi wanajuanga VIP security officers kama wase wakahasha. Ukijaribu kuwika karibu na president, wana kufanyia hile kitu. Tuko na wao. To go now on the other end of this short commercial break. You don't want to miss this conversation. So see you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm your host Dr. Kingori Manze. Shwa leo, siju kwa nini napenda kusema hivi but this is one of those uh, topics I'm always very excited to bring na kwa hiyo na vitu napenda sana to vibe about. Uh, tumesema in the first part of the show that conversation yetu ni wale wase uh, VIP security uh, wanaitwa tena close uh, protection uh, wase wametaani wanasema nga men in black. We are very glad that we are having that conversation conversation leo na tumepata my boys acha niseme my boys wawili wa nguvu sana waitwa Kingsley na Clevin wapi makofi yao <laughs> Asante Asante sana karibuni sana kwa show Asante Asante eh ah maze me train mpaka mnajibu pamoja Hiyo ni tizi ama ni coincidence Karibuni Asante Karibu so eh tuko na maswali wasi wengi wanajua hiyo close protection mm -hmm. na public events ya mm -hmm. kufinya wasi most hizo ndio picha viral ziwe enda za wasi si ndio mm -hmm. na niko sure me interact na hiyo kitu mm -hmm. na wewe kwanza vile wewe ni mpole sijui kama ukikutana na mzee mm -hmm. na anasema <laughs> hey president unaweza mfanye hiyo kitu <laughs> na kuna kitu fulani one of my favorite ni sijui kuna ingine 
ya security hii ni kielele tu mimi na come from a layman's perspective mm. ya kuingiza mtu mkono hapa siju na mfinya wapi what if you break someone's heart hizo <laughs> 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 uh, techniques hizo yeah. techniques zenye new to me ku neutralize mm. mse mm. are you that well trained in biology like unajua body ya binadamu unajua umse ni kimfinya gal bladder ni hivyo <laughs> are you trained in biology pia Uh, well it's part and parcel of the training itself lakini tusisahau kwamba that is the last resort uh, uh -huh. there is communication negotiation ikikata hizo zote sasa ndio unaweza apply uh, this kind of force minimal force. minimal force of course the force will be dependent on the um, aggressor in this case uh, but tunatumia kitu tunaita hpt human pressure point so human pressure point hata uh, ukiwa mtu ambaye uja train kwa miaka mingi in any form of martial arts is something that you can use to deter or to stop an attack to you as a security officer na pia uweze ku protect principal wako ambao na provide security na sio human pressure points peke yake kuna pia allegations za new finya human mm. pleasure points ni part and parcel you told me something very interesting yes. that it takes five weeks mm. to create a uh, five weeks ku create msia kwe deadly yes. uh, in um, VIP security yes. your close protection yeah. Yeah. what does this five weeks nini what is happening in these five weeks uh well to kind of assessment training uh, assessment yes kind of physical training uh, theory that's where you now learn about what close protection is who a VIP is in is in this case Uh, and just to add on top of that VIP ni mtu yote ambaye i mean basically pesa. is important not necessarily yeah, no. important yeah uh, ni VIP yeah. how ni VIP anybody mm. can be VIP you can mm. be uh, your wife can be a VIP your girlfriend your boyfriend uh, yes. a politician that we are protecting or including the president himself when it comes to VIP protection you mm. actually give nicknames one of the latest i've had being thrown around mm. is Ken Chick one <laughs> <laughs> What is the essence of these nicknames mm. and um, when you give a nickname is this a permanent name or it changes in a situation We call it code name see nickname but code oh, name okay. yeah. code So name. basically the code name really is to protect the principal that uh, you are providing security to because imagine if I'm saying maybe I'm Kingsley and Atoka Sai if it's in an open radio communications channel meaning like any other set that we would use in an event or anything I don't I'm sure if you use those small radios you'll hear some yes. communication coming through mm -hmm. yes. then i would have exposed my client so now whoever is planning to attack me and my client already knows my route where we are going and what we are going to do isn't it tiring mm -hmm. to have to live your life every day looking at possible scenarios that someone can die mm -hmm. and then so your life is now making sure that doesn't happen doesn't doesn't mm -hmm. it get yeah like um I can I can refer that question back to you mm -hmm. um in a way if you do something um you know continuously yes. practice makes perfect it becomes second nature it becomes part of you mm -hmm. yeah and that is why um you are very good at what you do mm -hmm. because okay. you've done it yes. uh, over and over again and you Is that an example or a compliment it, it is <laughs> both <laughs> <laughs> Yeah it I is both uh -huh. yeah so you're good at what you do because you've done it you've studied for it you've done it uh, countless times and you keep on making it better um you know they call it uh, the japanese call it kaizen mm. you know you're making everything better and better each day mm. so i believe 21 days of doing the same thing the same way mm. you know it becomes a habit yes, yes, if you're used to writing with your right hand and that is all you know um given a chance to use your left hand when your right hand is working it doesn't mean that you won't be able to write with your left hand but you'll write uh you know with some pretty much degree of difficulty yes, so yes, it's yes. just more of uh practicing it and uh, understanding that um, you know security is dynamic and it changes on a daily basis you okay. know the threats that you faced uh, like 10 minutes ago probably have changed right mm -hmm. now so that's why we really trickle down in our training to make sure that we are able to understand all these angles um, you know play all these uh, scenarios um, you know before they happen So if you're able to mitigate this risk before it becomes an event it is better for you mm -hmm. other than uh, you know being reactive so we uh, we forge for being uh, more of proactive other than being reactive ah yeah. so thank you yeah. there's a lot of secrecy in your work mm. there's a lot of secrecy like mimi i don't know how you can be a bad man mm. and you don't even 
uh, you are not even allowed to know how bad you are. As in, I still <laughs> struggling to wrap my head around that. <laughs> like you, you pro you, maybe you, you are as in utajuaji number one, yeah. uh, how to contain yourself in that. Mm. Like when you contain a threat, as he says, mm. something bad, very bad was supposed to happen. Mm. You have to keep it to yourself. Yes. You don't get the credit, mm. uh, life goes on. Mm. Doesn't it bother you? you? No, because at the end of the day, uh, security is all about passion. Yeah. You see, uh, people come into security for different reasons. Uh, some come into security looking for a way to sustain the family. For okay. example, metroka kwenu nyumbani, you decide to tell your family, ah, wacha ningie jeshi. Let mm. me get into police. Ukifika kwa police ama kwa jeshi, you realize things are very different. Eh? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Is, this, is this really um, for me? Then sometimes you realize it's not. Then you decide to go and become a vendor, for example, uze manguo, yes. uze mutura, or whatever yeah. it is that you can do. <laughs> uh, so in security, really, it's... Um, Nikazi are passion. It's not about the credit. And it's also not about uh, proving something to someone. Yeah. Because I know myself from the training that I've done that should something go wrong, I'll be able to contain the situation, uh, get my client from there to safety, and forget about it. Imagine that I saved you today and then I remind you, Mukubwa, the phrase? Mm. Yeah, you owe me your life came from. This is exactly. the reason we have such <laughs> phrases. You should apply them. Uh, you know, you get paid. You get paid to die in close protection. Wow. Just as when you get into the security services, you are willing and ready to give your life to serve the nation and to protect the citizens of a country. Same applies in close protection. The only difference is maybe you are getting paid a little bit higher. Are you limited in the kind of gigs you can take? For example, one of the most dangerous things you can do as a man mm -hmm. uh, in today's life, ni kulala kwa kejadem yenye ulipangiren. If you have a client who yeah. has pressing issues, yes. na nataka kulala kwa wenyewe. Uh, <laughs> does this fall, I'm, ask, I'm giving a very basic example. Mm. Do you choose the kind of jobs you take? Yeah, um, it's a business and uh, that's why we're in the private sector. So we choose, but uh, at some point we also give consultancy. Uh, we advise on steps to be taken because as i said security is supposed to be uh, is supposed to detect delay yes. or defend mm -hmm. so in those three aspects yes. you know the, you'll find a way that you're able to talk to that client and make him more work uh, you know with the with the event that he wants to hire you for so it's not just all about um, taking any other job because at yes. the end of the day as we said everybody is a vip but um, you have to you know check to what extent you're going to deploy your resources in protecting this particular person. Um, <laughs> Clevin, yes. this comes to you, but I believe both of you can talk about it. Yes. Your story of formations. Yes. Uh, you actually, that was a very interesting point. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a reason mm -hmm. why the, the motorcycles in a motorcade mm -hmm. uh, come in a certain ship. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. for the pictures. Yes. Why is that? Why do we need to have a formation? So the formation basically is dependent on the, the environment, Malimunaenda, the routes that you're using, and uh, the people who you'll be coming into contact with. Ah. So that is what will basically define a formation. Yeah. So, that's why, so the formation for Tuesday's inauguration yes. was because they knew they were going through Gedurai. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if you know that you're going to meet many people, of course, then your, uh, your, your client will have to be in the middle. Yeah. Around whichever formation that you decide to use. Okay. But it should, be, it should be where there's a possibility to defend um, in, the mo in the highest possible way to minimize um, risk of injury or yeah. sometimes, as we say, even death. Yeah. This is something that we have to consider in security. So every plan you have yes. is, is you plan, as in every plan you have, yes. whichever plan you have, yes. you plan yeah. for violence. Yes, because you see, uh, security today is not like security maybe 30 years ago. Yeah. Nobody okay. would have spoken about uh, maybe, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. These things to do with the internet, yeah. you know. Uh, yeah. People, people. The same way we train a security officer, the person who wants to really cause harm is also training. Yeah. These people are very meticulous. They will get the plans. 
they'll get, get to know the people who are working for this particular principle, including talking to their males, their gardeners. So it goes back to the basic, the very basic things. Okay. Normally they say that uh, a chain is as strong as the weakest link. Mm. So weakest link could be your phone. Mm. So when you're out there, probably you're wondering why you're just seeing people deployed uh, outside the vehicles and inside the vehicles. As I said, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Mm. So there are assets that uh, are being protected, up and including the, the principal himself. One of the things that people miss out is uh, protection of information. Mm. Information is an intangible asset. So how do you protect that? So you need to know in advance um, who are the people that uh, really associate with, uh, who, who are around the principal and be able to blend in so that you know what the principal would expect out of you. Yeah? Unlike uh, what you see in movies where um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kujuana mingi, nini vitu kama hizo. So it is more of keeping the safety of the principal, but at the same time, keeping yourself safe. Okay. Yeah. Sawa, sawa. Na iki tu ya most common thing na close protection, mm -hmm. ni kukimbiza gari. Like, mm. hey, mtu wa metoka mbio nyuma ya V8, nyuma ya Prado. <laughs> What's the, what's, the, what's, the, what's the need for that? So you protect your client in the car, Gary Simame, yeah. ukitaka kuwa makanga, si ukuwa makanga, wachana na close protection. Uh, those are very highly trained operatives on the ground. Um, running is part of, uh, you know, being able to, you know, consume the environment. Mm. Yeah? The principle is in the vehicle. Makiu, they were in a vehicle, you, you, you've seen uh, the motorcade, yeah? So you've seen, it's not just one vehicle, the other vehicles. Yes. In one of those vehicles, they are the operatives that you see outside and running. Yes, yes, yes. So when they're outside there, the main thing is also to search the yes, premise yes. in case of any uh, unlikely event. Yes. You know, um, what we call in the private sector is, uh, we call it HOT, H-O-T. Mm. So is there anything that is hidden for H? Yes. Um, is it uh, obviously, uh, you know, illegal or harmful? And then is it in a typical um, area, you know, a place where it can be hidden, let, let's say disturbed ground and whatnot. That is why they are outside there. And they are always communicating. So in case there is anything that, uh, you know, doesn't check out, then it is easier for them because they have seen with their own eyes, they're able to advise and then necessary action is taken from there. And that is why you see them, apart from them opening the doors and whatnot. That's why they are, they are outside. There are people who are searching while running. So these are skills that you also acquire through training. Okay. Yeah. Because sometimes you'll face also people, maybe you're coming into a venue, yeah. and then you thought it was a friendly environment, mm. all of a sudden it turns hostile. Like for example, you have chanting, yeah. talk up, umbwa. So you mm. know, like the person who is outside can actually communicate with the guys inside the vehicle to evacuate the uh, principal. Yeah. As you okay. try and control this crowd, so you must be able to now control that. Without our cooking beer, it's very, very difficult. Difficult. So even the security sector, your way umbo is violence. Like it's a violent. <laughs> okay. But you see, that's why you have to be physically fit, mm -hmm. uh, emotionally, psychologically, mentally fit. But they're like, um, I would say just walking, walking dead, zombies. Uh, before we let you go, first of all, both of you have your own companies. Yeah. You are, uh, let me call you employers. Mm. So um, you can tell us about your companies mm. and uh, each of you and how you work together. Alafu, number two, most importantly, if someone was looking for employment in the close protection uh, sector, how do they go about it and how do they get in touch? Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm the director of uh, Crime Shield Security Limited. Crime uh, Shield? Yes. So okay. you can find us uh, on our socials at Crime Shield Security Limited. Um, our website is www.crimeshield.org. So in case somebody is interested for uh, the training, they can drop us an email at info at crimeshield.org. Okay. Yeah. So we do uh, not only train uh, for bodyguards, but we have an array of services that we do. Uh, collaboratively, we do a training and deployment uh, with uh, Cleveland, and uh, you know we are two years, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are two years, uh, you know, working together. Okay, so you do recruitment peer, yeah. you do interview people who can actually fit into. Uh, yes, and protection. actually, it uh, Crime Shield's uh, mission is to impact, especially uh, the youth.
mm -hmm. and security is one way of um, you know impl uh, implementing that uh, facet by enabling any other person who has the interest uh, to know about security and even earn a living out of it. Okay. So that is why we do that kind of training. So okay. we try as much as possible to collaborate with uh, counties. Sometimes we, we do training even for you know, at schools we, you know, and all these places. So, okay. yeah. And now that you've actually mentioned the youth and uh, security <coughs> in the same department, maybe you should actually add another one, yeah, safe sex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cleven, yeah. tell us about uh, you and your company there. Well, uh, my name is um, uh, Cleven Langi. Uh, director at a company called K9 Alligator Security. Uh, and as he said, we also provide a wide array of security, dogs, um, uh, guards. I don't like to call them guards, I call them security, security officers. officers. Yeah. Because they are well trained, they understand their job. We've got uh, smart guarding solutions as well. Uh, you know, the world has changed now, we are into a lot of um, internet stuff. Yes. So your security must also be tech savvy. We have uh, close protection officers as well. But it's a wide um, uh, array of services, really. Um, okay. yeah. And how do people get in touch for people interested in working? With uh, you? They can visit our site. They can send uh, an email or visit our website, um, k9alligatorsecurity.co.ke. Okay. Uh, they can send an email to k9alligators at gmail.com or to my personal mail, clevin.langi at k9alligators.co.ke. Okay, yes. sawa sawa asante sana. And may notice uh, Cliven and a smile sana, <laughs> uh, Does this apply even ukiwa operation, like ukiwa kwa ground? Like is there a standard, is, is there a standard facial expression in your job? This is also a question from one of our audience members. Uh, well, obviously at work you'll need to be serious. But then again, I'll uh, refer back to when you know what you can do and your capability <laughs> 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 you don't have to be fierce like a lion yeah yeah you can have the laugh of a hyena but the sting <laughs> of a bee yeah you know that's ah, uh, okay. yes that's interesting yeah. uh asante sana wameweza mawajeza very good vibes ndio mm. Mazi asanteni sana, asanteni sana kwa kwa mshu yetu. Mm. Karibu ni tena na tena, at least tumeongeza database yetu ya security experts. Mm. Mm. Mazi mbekuwa very good vibes. Mm. Tumeonge, by the way, mnajua tumeongea for over one hour for your division. Really? Yeah. That's very, very good vibes. Mm. So, makofi yao. Mm. Asante sana. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.